to be continued is an exhibition that is um, working on the last hundred years uh, from 1911 to 2011. And uh, when I first saw the Palazzo de Cristal, it seemed like uh, a building that is untouched by historical events. So I thought that to introduce the historical events and what happened uh, into the palace would be interesting to me. It is also an extremely difficult space, but it's for me a challenging space because it is so different from the white cube or what an artist usually faces. The exhibition is based on a research of political and economical slogans of the last hundred years, as I said, and they pretend to be the only possible truth. But when you have them, uh, many of them together, and when you have them throughout a century, then you say that the, see that the truth changes very much from uh, one decade to another, and even sometimes very quickly, like it is presented in the videos. The scaffolding that has, is used in the exhibition on two, uh, in two parts is uh, used around the monument. Um, it has uh, a practical use, but what is even more important to me is that it puts the monument in a time which is in between. We do not know if the monument is being constructed or deconstructed. In the videos, and in the monument, I was looking for these moments when these uh, very quick shifts occur. Uh, the videos have the title Wende, which is a German word uh, meaning turnaround, and that describes actually that is first used for the fall of the Berlin Wall. So I was looking for five uh, moments like that in history in these last hundred years. Uh, the monument is, of course, an anti-monument. It, ha uh, it has the base of the monument, but not the sculpture that is missing. Uh, that is also an, a comment, of course, on, on history and historical changes, and that uh, what we worship today might not be what we worship tomorrow. 